everyone. Welcome to another episode of The Fortress of a podcast about movies, TV shows, video games, and lots of pop culture and other things. My name is Oscar. I'll be one of your hosts today. And with me, per usual, are two of your other hosts. We got Alex, also known as The Braun and The Dad. Sir. And we got Devin, also known as The Brains, slash Mr. Nowhere, slash uh, the guy who has now seen Blue Beetle. Um, <laughs> how, are, how are we all doing today? <laughs> feeling good. Yeah, feeling, feeling good. Feeling good. Happy to be here. I well, I'm glad someone is. I'm on vocal rest and slightly <laughs> under the weather, so oh no, might, you guys oh, might need man. to carry this episode a bit. <laughs> no, <laughs> double shouldn't be talking. I'm drinking a weird witch's brew of an elixir. Uh, Dang. So, Ooh. Fun fact: uh, I got this from a, a fellow person uh, to get some advice on how to get your voice back. So what's in here is fresh ginger, cayenne pepper, mm-hmm. nice. fresh pineapple, lemon, pineapple. some throat coat. Oh. Boiled it all together. Let it steep. Added some honey, and I've just been sipping that all day. Honey, honey, and like ginger. Those, those are like very. Yeah, that'll take you a long way. Yeah, saving my life, saving my life. Currently. That's good. So. That that cayenne sounds like an interesting mix. That feels like that would. I mean, I tr- I trust it's the process, but yeah, I feel like that would like scratch scratch your shit up. Yeah, I think it's mostly just to clear everything out. <laughs> okay, okay. Because mm. I also heard from someone else who puts hot sauce in with Damn. some honey. Ooh. Whenever their throat hurts, I'm like, yeah, I, Damn. I, I can't be talking right. eating a bunch of hot sauce. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would do the opposite for me, I think. But hey, so you drink that and then you take like a, a vow of silence, like an ancient monk. Yeah, basically. Until so. it's time to perform. Outside of this podcast, I was, I have, I'm in silence. <laughs> 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 Contemplation. No one talked to me. That's good. But yeah, all right, guys. Uh, I'm glad you're here. We might have uh, Brian hop in later in the episode. But for now, shall we now move into our main topic, or our first topic of the week? Ooh, Let's go. Baby. News, news talk. talk. Uh, first piece of news. This one is a heartbreaker for me personally. <laughs> um, mostly because uh, when we get to our predictions episode uh, next year, oh. I will find out that I was incredibly wrong about this one. <laughs> uh, so uh, it was... Uh, Announced that Naughty Dogs, The Last of Us multiplayer game that they've been working on for who knows how long, is officially canceled. It's not coming out. It's uh-huh. dead. It's done. I'm fucking bummed. That's bro. some bullshit, honestly. <laughs> they went from having the multiplayer in The Last of Us 2 to saying, oh, we're going to go even harder and just make it a standalone game. And now mm. they're just not doing it anymore. And now it's done. That's, that's just wild. Nothing. Yeah. yeah. Very sad. They now get to focus on their single player stuff some more, which is good. I mean, they're obviously the they're, they're the kings of multi single player games. So oh, so they're just scrapping they the whole. That. I was like, maybe they're just going to take a lot of these assets and mold them with like a new skin into a new multiplayer game. But they're just they're just folding everything. Huh? It's done. It's just all mm-hmm. done. I mean, maybe they'll take things that, and we won't know about it. Maybe they'll take some like fucking yeah, I don't know animations, but I, the concept seems to be dead. Yes. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, honestly, kind of nuts. But look, if it was a thing where it's like they're talking about how they couldn't really think about what they would do post launch when the game came out, kind of like how Destiny, they constantly have to create more content for it. Mm-hmm. And they just, they're, they were saying how it wouldn't, it would take away resources from them working on single player stuff because we would have to constantly be working on this forever. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I get that. I, I wouldn't want them to do that either. So this is kind of a blessing in, in disguise, maybe. But. It is a bummer because I do think like that first Last of Us that multiplayer. I think at least Alex, you played. I don't know if you played it, Devin. Yeah, it's it fun. Pretty, it was pretty great. Yeah, I don't play. I don't play a whole lot of multiplayer games, especially not a lot of like multiplayer like death match matches. But that one, that one was surprisingly special because it was like no HUD, right? Is is it, is it just like the campaign? So yeah, it's very I mean, it's, limited. It's very, and you very had to, like, similar. Yeah, craft. You had oh, to craft yeah. stuff on the fly and get bullets. So like every fire fight in that game was like three shots because that's all you had so oh. that's, if you didn't have that you had to scramble or run a run with your fists and hope for the best <laughs> that's crazy yeah that sounds like fun yeah so it's 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 quite a bummer it's a bummer but we'll see mm. what that studio is doing next uncharted 5 last of us 3 give me jack and daxter bro if they reboot if they give me a jack and daxter <laughs> 4 all is forgiven <laughs> <laughs> that's good all righty let's move on to the next piece of news this is a bit of a surprise but also it makes total sense uh it, i think it leaked but then it was confirmed by the man himself uh hideo kojima confirmed that a24 the studio behind so many Ooh. amazing films like uh everything Arrow, all at once and a lot of horror stuff they, uh, they're making a death stranding movie which makes zero sense but i'm <laughs> so in <laughs> How does that, i mean i haven't played death stranding but why does that not make sense to me it makes perfect sense it has a star so i mean I, it's it's like cinematic right. like kojima films are pretty synonymous with like cinema mm-hmm 
I feel like it's it was it's about it's a you know bound to happen. It's about time that he's involved with an actual movie. And A twenty four, no, yeah, sounds like a great fit to me. The cinematic trailers were honestly the coolest part of that game, right? Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I didn't hear much about the actual Absolutely. gameplay. I just thought it was weird considering Death Stranding two is still in the process. So like, is the the story's oh, not I done? I would imagine. Interesting. So mm-hmm. I'm like, I because I, I, I still I haven't played the first one either. It's still on a list of, of games that <laughs> I need you, to get Don't you don't you have it? Like the box? Set? I have it. It's still <laughs> in the plastic wrap. Oh, <laughs> I'm man. not That's I haven't hilarious. opened it. Oh shit. <laughs> I was just like never in the mood to be like, all right, let's sit for six hours before we yeah. actually play a game. Let's, yeah, that, let's that, sit and that watch. one seems like a, a whole a whole process to get to play. Yeah. But I need to get in the I right mind. I don't think state. you're gonna play it, dude. I will play you can't, it. One does not simply pick up a game like that. <laughs> like you, you just you just miss the boat. You I'm gonna. Well I'll, I'll end up doing well. the same thing yeah. I did with like Fallout Three right before Fallout Four. I I just finally went back to Fallout Three and played it all. And then I'll probably do the same thing with Skyrim before whatever Six comes out. I'll play. I'll finally finish the story of Skyrim, which I haven't done. And I'll do the same thing with Death Stranding right before you, Death Stranding Two comes out. I wait, will wait, wait. play Death Stranding One. <laughs> did I miss this? You <laughs> never crazy. finished the story of Skyrim. <laughs> oh, I never finished Skyrim. Nope. No way. What? Nope. Do you know how many missions I finished? But they were. It wasn't so the main one. Many stories. No, but the right? main plot is like. Not that much, like it's like ten hours max. It wasn't. That I'm not the Dragonborn fully yet. <laughs> oh man, oh, you guys are missing out. I got, I got but some I of the dragon yells, but there were so many other things that I was like, "This is way more exciting." Well, I yeah. gotta finish them side quests first, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> gotta catch them all. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's fair. So, no, I'll play. So I'll play that one day. Whenever Death Stranding Two comes out, <laughs> <laughs> it's just wild. We'll see. But yeah, I mean, uh, yeah. So, but like, he always talks about how like this is a weird like universe. So. I do wonder if it's going to be a direct adaptation of that game or if it's going to be like a kind of like an anthology series, you know? Oh, interesting. That'd be kind of interesting because this world seems to fit that kind of mold of it's just a bunch of weirdness. Yeah. (laughs) I wonder what his involvement is going to be. Is he going to just produce it or is he going to be directing it? Is he going to write it? Maybe maybe Jordan Peele is going to direct it. That would have been After their their hangout session on uh, the Game Awards. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah, it doesn't say. It just says that they're partnering with uh, Kojima Productions on it. So, who knows? Hmm. I'm sure we'll get more info in the next couple of months, probably. Uh, and obviously, yeah, like you said, it's the cast is a real people, so they could just use those people again. Yeah, I wonder. It'd be it'd be a shame to recast everybody. Yeah, it'd be weird. But I could see him. I could possibly see him doing it just to get a different, like Timothy Chalamet or some shit. You know. <laughs> mm. Interesting. But yeah. also, a twenty four. They don't. I mean, I guess they do get who they need to, but usually they go for like lower right. budget people, right? So yeah, it's kind of like an indie, the in, big indie studio. But every movie they make is great, so it's a good good choice for the studio. Interesting stuff. All right, mm-hmm. let's move on. Uh, but to do that, we have to head to the trailer park. So let's go. Mob Spaghetti. Fortunately, Brian is not here to do his typical uh, whatever he does. <laughs> <laughs> Yeehaw. Thank you, Devin. Broken you down cars. All righty. In the trailer park, here we are. Uh, this is sort of a trailer. It's not really to it. It was just an announcement, but it came with an interesting piece of news. Netflix, they announced a brand new, never before seen anime. It's called The One Piece. Uh, it's about a boy, I'm assuming. Yeah, this just makes me sad. Oh, I'm just kidding. It's a fucking, they're remaking uh, an anime that is still currently ongoing as we speak. The, the anime is still happening? I thought it was done. No, isn't way. it? Yeah, it's still yeah, it's on. Like There's over a it's thousand still episodes still going. God. So One Piece is still happening. The original anime. I don't know about the manga. I think the manga. I don't know if the manga is still ongoing. I'm not sure. But either way, Netflix is now remaking the anime for Netflix. But they're, they're all. The, Netflix is also doing the live action One Piece that's right. happening yeah. right now. I don't understand yeah. why we. Why do we need so much One Piece? Yeah. I don't know. Are they going to cut out like a lot of the plot lines? A lot of the arcs? I would imagine so. Maybe they'll make a thousand episodes into maybe 30. I don't know. I don't know. I, I would watch it if it was like that long because that's always been my deterrent with One Piece. Is it's it's way too much. Even start it. Right. Yeah, it's too much. I just can't believe both these projects got greenlit by the same organization. <laughs> like like who who did the did the same person have the idea for both of these or did they just like say yes to too many people and they were like, <laughs> oh well, I guess we'll just do them all. It's very weird how in on one piece they're getting, but apparently people liked it, so maybe maybe they're I don't yeah, know. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. I'm happy for I'm happy happy for the One Piece fans. Yeah, I believe it is the it's Wit Studio. I think they're the studio that did at least the first three seasons of Attack on Titan, so that's pretty cool. Oh, yeah, would it be I in like that style? style? That is the one thing I would say could be positive because I think 
One Piece is ugly as fuck. I think it looks <laughs> ugly. But it's unique. It's, it is unique. I'll give it that. So if this can be, I don't know, more appealing to me, I might watch it. I don't know. We'll see. They do, they do do a pretty good job when it's animated. It's live action, although I did hear the live action One Piece was pretty good. I watched like the first two episodes and it, was, it wasn't terrible. So, you know, <laughs> but I feel like they definitely do a very good job with animated stuff. Yeah. It could be good. It could be. All right. Uh, last and final trailer. Uh, Doom Part 2 got a brand new trailer. I don't know why they're... This is the third trailer. This movie comes out in March. I don't know why <laughs> they're chucking out something. It's not... What are they doing? I'm mad. Anyways, look, I'm still excited for it. It still looks more more Dune. A cool warm war. It definitely looks like I still more can't things are happening. Paul. You still can't believe who's bald? His name is Paul. I just can't yeah, believe Paul. he's in this world. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> Paul Atreides. Doesn't make sense. But yeah, I did not watch this trailer because I don't want to see any more until I watch the movie. I just wish it would drop That's over. fair. No, it's fair. That's fair. I mean, what for big blockbuster movies like that, isn't two the max? Two trailers? Like, are they just doing this because it's been so delayed so much? Yeah, I don't know. I don't, yeah, maybe. Keep keep the excitement. I'm not going to lie. I didn't even know there was three trailers. I'm, I think this is the one I watched <laughs> uh, a few days ago for the first time. I was like, I'm just excited to watch it. The movie, let me just catch a little bit of the trailer. And it, it looked pretty It looked pretty dope. Like, I'm not going to lie. I mean, this yeah. movie looks fantastic. Very excited to see it. But at this point, you've got six minutes of the movie laid out to yep. us. Yeah. You know, three trailers. So, I mean, come on. Just just drop it already, dang it. But, yeah, very excited for this movie. Yeah, should be should be good. Should be good. All right. That is the trailer park, which means that is the news. Guys, shall we now move into our main topic of the week? Oh, boy. Let's get it. But first, not only are we trapped in another fortress, we're trapped with another host. Let's welcome Brian, <laughs> aka uh, the Beard. We're and, trapped. Uh, Miss I don't trapped. want to be trapped in another. I'm not host. here with you. You're here with me. <laughs> oh shit! I just I think we need to change up the wording on that because I'm not. We're not trapped in Brian. Uh, we're, none of us are inside Brian. No, yeah. we're we're in the fortress of Brian. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> your parasites in my yeah Miss Frizzle type shit. <laughs> We did it. We're all we're all together again. We did it, guys. And for the for the last time of the year, let's go. Round of applause for us. Here Yay. All. Yay. Here now. Oh yeah. This yeah, so we're trying another fortress. This is a fortress. Uh we've done this at least last year. I don't know if we did it in twenty twenty one, but probably. Um <laughs> where because we're so qualified to give out awards, we're gonna give out awards in quotation marks for the year of twenty twenty three. Yes, because we are in the fortress of that. The, the best of things 2023 of 2023. <laughs> Unfortunately, we do have a live studio audience. Uh, nobody is here to accept their award. It turns out they're all busy. No. Every single one. Of them. <laughs> yep. uh, Every <laughs> single one. We apologize. But also, all of the game awards, you only get 30 seconds anyway, so you got to wrap that shit up, and we got to continue on with the show. <laughs> True. Show True. the next world premiere. No. Um, all right. <laughs> so... Uh, we're going to get straight to it. Um, I would say check spoilers for all this listeners. Um, we'll try to keep them spoiler free. I would imagine we're going to spoil um, all of 2023 guys. All right. So obviously let's start with the big ones. Best movie of the year. That is 2023. I, unfortunately I did see avatar two again in the January, 2023, but it doesn't count. <laughs> you said and unfortunately. So I can't use oh, that, that, no. that came out last year. Um, yeah, <laughs> I, I saw any new movies. You saw, so you saw a couple on some planes. True. Were they new? You saw Guardians three. Oh, did that, is that, did that come do out? Do they have year? to be new, or, or do you have to just watch them for the first time? No, in that's the thing. Okay. They don't. All right, they don't have to be. All right, then you I'm know? ready. But so I, so I, I got right. I got two right off the bat. I don't think I saw any movies that came out in 2023. Did Barbie come out this year? <laughs> it sure did. Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I saw Barbie, but my favorite two movies. I'm going to pick two because I can't choose that I saw this year were. Was everything everywhere all at once, and and Whoa. across the Spider Verse? Let's go. Okay, yeah, I knew I that one. I think both those came out yes last year. I was gonna say yesterday. <laughs> no, across the Spider Verse was this year. So you got one. Oh fuck yeah! In there. Slapping two multiversal nice. movies. I mean, maybe, maybe 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 just across the Spider Verse. That one is like <laughs> so fucking cool. I, I find myself thinking about it every <sighs> I week. Watch it. Yeah, Devin. I think you're the only one that hasn't seen that, right? You, you, oh, no. and the movies led by brown and black people, bro. Come <laughs> on, <laughs> he'll watch the hell out of Barbie, but he won't go and see fucking. <laughs> I bet you saw Oppenheimer eight times, didn't you? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Did you see Oppenheimer? Did you watch a four-hour movie before you went and saw Across the Spider Verse? I'm gonna throw up. I'm disgusted. <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> Oh man! I feel like a lot of good movies came out this year, and that's kind of I feel bad just picking like one because I think there's so many that deserve their flowers. If you want, go list. You can list top three. I have have no idea what's what's relevant these days. Yeah, of course. For my number one, it's gonna be Across the Spider Verse. I think that was a beautifully created movie. I think the art 
in it the everything about that movie is almost perfect the only thing that it struggled with was some of the pacing towards the end but other than that it's an easy nine out of ten at least as far as movie goes Mm -hmm. um but of course barbie was Mm -hmm. literally a whole like cultural moment that will probably be talked (laughs) about years from now and i think that was really interesting and did a really cool thing for women yeah that made, made some waves for sure yeah, for everyone to get mm-hmm. the complete wrong idea and just make a bunch of movies on toys instead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then, of course, there's Ninja Turtles. Ninja Turtles is great. Um, I wish more people went and nice. saw that movie. Great movie. I'll watch it one day. Yes, I, I think everyone should watch that movie, especially people like you, Alex, from New York. The New York references in that movie are so fucking funny to me. Uh, I think they're so good. A really, really strong movie as well. And then last but not least, uh, Blue Beetle. It didn't get his flowers like it deserved. Oh, movie shit. made no fucking money. Damn. That was a good movie. That's a movie worth watching. I wouldn't say it's the best movie. What movie we're watching? Tight. Yeah. yeah, I'll piggyback off of some of that. Barbie is on my top three. It's my third one. Honestly, my number one, I had to think back because it's a movie we didn't cover uh, on the podcast this year. Oh. Uh, I'm going John Wick Chapter 4. Ooh. I really fucking love that movie. Movie of the year? I think so. Yeah, man. That movie is fucking phenomenal. And it might be the best one of the series. When did that movie come out? Was that super early? 2024? Uh, that movie came out, I think, in March of Damn, this year. I forgot that movie so, came out. It's, it, it was like right at the peak of when it was just like a movie a week, a new movie every uh, week for, uh, for, for yeah. like nine mm-hmm. weeks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So it kind of, yeah. Um, but I, yeah, I mean, I, I thought that movie was great. It's three hours, but it is it is an epic in every it's three hours. The, the stunts. What is everything. John Wick doing for three hours? OK, never mind. Never it's like two forty five, bro. Jesus Christ. But it's a phenomenal movie. Shout out to one very particular season, one particular sequence uh, where there is a top down view. Uh, and I won't say any more of that. If you know, you know, it's a phenomenal sequence. In the oh, movie. yeah, that was cool. Guardians Volume Three. That's my number two. I absolutely love that movie. Uh, um, yeah. What an emotional finale to those characters <laughs> i cried in that movie if you love animals don't see this movie because you'll cry <laughs> watching this movie did that come out this year or was that last year it sure did come out this year it's a really oh, good movie wow. yeah that that was great it's a really I good still movie still haven't seen it god i still haven't you seen that, watch that as well yeah that one i would go out of the way to see it's it's genuinely good it's it's, it's a good time i'll save uh blue beetle because i i put blue beetle in a different category but shout out to that and also uh yeah also spider verse and shout out to the super mario brothers movie i know a lot of people didn't like that but oh, i thoroughly oh, wow. had a fun yeah. fun time with that movie it's one of those movies yeah. that i probably God, won't man. revisit but i do think it was a, a movie worth watching once yeah some of these if you had told me it was this year i would have said it was 2020. same exactly. yeah bro it's been a long year john wick 4 <laughs> sounds like a 2021 ass movie like i don't know why <laughs> yeah, it, really does. it probably was a, a john yeah. wick that came yeah. out that year <laughs> maybe yeah listen oscar i want you to watch it on an airplane with no sound and then tell me how you feel. Anyway, <laughs> yeah I mean, for me i only have one it's just barbie I, yeah but that's with the caveat that i have not seen some of these movies that y'all mentioned especially uh spider verse because i know that would be up here but yeah. barbie was refreshing like it, i've never seen a movie quite like that especially you know, the modern era, post-Marvel and all that kind of stuff. So I kind of expected it to be kind of marvel but it wasn't at all. It definitely, like, you know, spoke to some things that, that no movie ever really had before that and blended a good blend of comedy and some yeah. serious stuff. Mm-hmm. I mean, just a slam dunk all the way across the board. I think in a lot board, of ways so. it's exactly what we needed from movies. I feel like a lot of movies are feeling like with the Marvel-esque movies that keep coming out, we're pretty tired of a lot of tropes. Um, it's hard to make new shit. Yeah. It's hard to make shit yeah. that is different. And the, and the lesson is, like, the more I learned about Barbie is, like, the stuff that they got away with that she's like, she came up with it in COVID and she's like, they'll never let me make this movie for a billion dollars. And then they <laughs> did, yep. you know, so that, and that's why it was so new and unique, that's cool. you know, because, because, because these kind of budgets usually don't get something like that. So like, like the dance thing at the end, right? Like they had to get it in one day or else they were going to cut it. And that was like one of the most iconic oh, wow. parts of the movie. So it's good that we were able to get Barbie. So I'm, I'm glad we did. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. Let's go worst. We'll go back and forth. Worst. Uh, obviously, this one's tough because I think I think other than Brian, none of us really try to find <laughs> look at watch terrible movies. <laughs> Brian talked about watching some real Jack ludicrous Christmas movie last week, so that's why he's. <laughs> this might be yeah, Brian's category to, to win. A hot garbage. I'm drawing such a hard <laughs> blank. You said that you have a, a thought of what you think my my least favorite movie is. I think I purged a lot from my mind because some shit was so bad. Yeah, for me, the one for the first thing I thought of for you for worst movie is The Flash. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's another movie like The Flash that I also hated just as much. What was that other movie? We talked about it. Shazam? Recently. Not Shazam, even though Shazam was bad. But Shazam was boring. Um, mm. I can't even say that's the worst. Uh, Flash was bad. Um, but there's a movie we talked about recently, I feel like, that you liked. That it, oh, the, the Marvels. <laughs> we didn't talk about that on the oh, podcast. That's, of that's, course. That's you okay. did not that's, like that's that. I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, ooh, that's a tough one between me. 
I'm gonna say <laughs> The Flash only because not only was that movie bad, also Ezra Miller is a piece of shit. So <laughs> I think that automatically gets you less points when it comes down to it. That they wanted to go. fix yeah. Ezra's uh like kind of like public opinion so badly that they basically lied and said this was a good movie and then it was still fucking bad. I think it's the most <laughs> disingenuous bullshit I've ever seen before in my life. Mm. On top of that, listeners, that, me and Devin quite like that movie. Uh, I'll listen <laughs> back to that episode. <laughs> yeah, funnily enough, y'all enjoyed that movie. Ezra was great in the movie, so that was like the. Only I think that's the funniest part, part about it. Is they're the best part, <laughs> and it's like, yeah, damn, so I, it's yeah. quite ironic. If you weren't a shit human being, you probably have a very lucrative career, but you fucked it up because you were a bad person. And also, yeah, yeah that movie yep. fucking sucks. So I'm gonna say that. Okay, wait, was Quantum Media <laughs> also this year? Yes, yes that, that was another one, one that. Yeah, wow. I think that's for me the worst. <laughs> I think that for me was when Marvel died. <laughs> Yeah, that one was like, I don't think I want to see any more Marvel movies. Oh, that that's amazing. Like, at a certain point in the middle of that movie, you're just like, there's just like recycling yeah. like shit, dude. Like, it's just, you know, like, I think I remember the moment in that movie. I was just like, I'm the, out. the part of Quantum Medium that, that made me mad is y'all have made like, what, 20, 30 movies of Marvel movies at this point, And you managed to somehow fuck up like rule number one of movie making, which is show, don't tell. How do you how do you do that? Mm-hmm. How do you fuck that up? Where they're just like, yo, this yeah. Kang motherfucker, he's real scary. You know that Kang motherfucker, he right. does that scary shit. Can I see him do scary shit? That would yeah. be awesome <laughs> to see on screen, considering this movie's three hours. Right. I would love to see that. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, that movie was garbage. <laughs> I didn't like that movie at all. Yeah, if I had to, I'd probably put him in worse. But they're also like in a separate category for me, of which is like disappointing. Most disappointing. <laughs> you know? yeah. Disappointing for sure. Yeah. Alex, you got any worse or no? I can't remember. I'm sure I watched that movie. <laughs> but it's right. it's Fair but enough. it's yeah. so, it's so far behind me now. Maybe that one movie with the magic the magic crab that I mentioned. Magic we did crab. we did an what episode a few a few weeks ago about romantic comedies. Oh, the fucking I can't oh, remember it, but they had this fucking magic the crab. The Sarah Michelle Geller one. Yeah. <laughs> oh fuck. That movie was a fucking fever dream. My God. <laughs> that is crazy. <laughs> That's funny. All right. Let's move on. Best TV show of the year. I'll start on first. Ooh. I'm gonna start with my number two, because I'm sorry. Last of us, you're my number two best show of the year. Ooh. You're not number one. Oh, That's that was crazy. this year? That was this year, Devin. That was this oh. year, Devin. Last That's of tough. Us is my number two. And for my number one, which I listened back to our last year uh, episode, and it's a previous winner, two-time winner, two years in a row, because my number one TV show of this year is absolutely Attack on Titan. I thought oh. the way it all ended, the, t- the two oh. final chapters, the way it all ended, uh, I, was, I was honestly very satisfied with everything. I thought it looked amazing. I thought the music was amazing. I thought the story ended very well. Um, I know a lot of people had problems with it, but I, I fucking adored it, and, and and it is one of my favorite shows. So absolutely, that that took the cake for me. Followed by Last of Us, and then shout out for me, number three. I'll probably I'll give to Castlevania, or no, sorry, I'm gonna give to um Foundation, combinations of season one and two. Oh, that's cool. Um, thank you, Devin, for that. I know season two came out this year, um, but I watched both. Honestly, a phenomenal show. Not perfect. There's some plots and some characters that I honestly don't care about in some in both seasons. But overall, phenomenal mm-hmm. fucking show. I, I glad, and also just got mm-hmm. season three, just got greenlit. So good for them. Yeah. Happy to see more. Mm-hmm. More honorable mentions: Castlevania Nocturne, Gen V, the last episode of Loki season two, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> only one episode. Some moments in the Mandalorian season three. <laughs> that was this year too. Sure was. Yeah, it was. Oh, Dude, wow. This er, this first half of this year was fucking stacked. <laughs> yeah, COVID made everybody just release everything this year, and I think that's, that's so funny. That's right. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I think, well, for me, I mean, it's pretty easy. I guess best show is Foundation number one, just because it was Over very, Last very of well us? written, very yeah. well acted. Yeah, I think, well, Last of Us, yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's because with Foundation, I felt stuff like Game of Thrones level, mm. like shock value and like that, you know, those kind of moments. I think with Last of Us, since you kind of know the story already, maybe it didn't hit as hard. I don't know. I'm not sure. But Last of Us is definitely close second, if not tied for first. But I think for me, Foundation was was kind of new That's, and fresh. That makes sense. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Uh, for me, I can't really rank them because I love them all for different reasons. Um, but of course, <laughs> Last of Us is going to be in there. I think that was a beautifully written show. And I'm the biggest thing about that was how surprising it was. I did not expect it to be as good as it was. So that was really something right, special. Yeah. And then there also was Jury Duty that I think I talked a, a little bit about. I don't know who was there when I talked about it. Oh, yeah. My, um, free for all. Um, if you haven't watched Jury Duty, that is an amazing show to watch. Basically, the premise of it is the fact that uh, uh, a guy is basically put into a biographical film of what it's like to be put for jury duty. Uh, the kicker is he is the only real person on the jury. Everyone else in that whole courtroom is an actor. 
Um, and they just go through really oh, crazy boy. situations over and over again and kind of see how he reacts to them. And somehow it's one of the most wholesome things I've ever watched before in my life. So I would highly recommend to anyone that's looking for something new and fresh and like that's feel great. good and also yeah. super funny. Please watch that show. It's amazing. What, what is that on? Uh, I watched it on Amazon Prime. It's under like Freebie okay. or whatever. You can watch it with that with ads or whatever. Uh, I don't know what it originally it. came out on, but that's what I watched it on. And it's great. It's a great show. Um, and then last is uh, the most recent season of yes. Abbott Elementary. I, I want to say that, that with a caveat. Oh. There, there have been a couple of actors on that show that have supported not good things that are happening oh, no. recently in the world. Um, yeah. Yeah. We no. don't have to get super into it just because I don't want to make it a whole different thing. Um, but yeah. So that's. A, a, a sore point, so sweet. but that is such a sweet show, and it caps it encapsulates like teaching and like children in such like a, a real world way that makes it so much better because it's like that's exactly how a child would act in this fucking situation. You know what I mean? This is exactly what would happen in Philadelphia if you're a teacher. Um, because my it's funny. One of my cousins actually teaches up in Philadelphia, and he's like, "Yep, this show, the show nails it." Nice. That's so cool. yeah, I, I really enjoyed that that show so far as well. Uh, you just made me think of something. Sorry, I had to throw one thing out there. I forgot. Shout out to final season of Ted Lasso. Yes. I completely forgot that. I, that was I figured you were going to say something about that, so I was surprised oh, you I did. missed that one. I totally <laughs> forgot that that was this year. <laughs> wow. Love that show. What a beautiful ending. Yeah, yeah Sorry, I haven't watched it yet. Speaking Dang. of final final seasons, I think my number one show uh, is another show that wrapped up um, after a long, long stretch, and that's Marvelous Miss Maisel. Oh. I hear mm. such good things about Phenomenal. it. Phenomenal phenomenal comedy yeah. drama series it, it was it was so good and so emotional of an of like a finale season I, I i i cried at the last episode it was just so beautiful saying goodbye to like those these characters that grew and developed so much and just like such a mm-hmm. such a great ending to a wonderful story of characters where you know it, it depicts like real life in the 60s or whatever but also mm-hmm. just like real characters and was like you know, and not not everybody has a happy ending, but everybody had a wonderful journey and everybody kind of everything kind of got tied up one way or another, whether it was good or bad or or bleak or troubling. It was just really incredible. The It was super funny. Every season was hilarious. And this final season was just like such a such a joy. So, yeah, that, that was that was that's probably my number one. It was great to like have it be complete. I think I can't remember when it was. I feel like it was early early the year maybe spring yeah. other big ones for me was the, the second season of the bear that was mm. super oh, I need great to watch that this most recent season of only murders in the building amazing and we actually just recently started a new tv show maybe you guys have heard it it's actually starring the person who i just i just mentioned from the worst movie that i saw i looked <laughs> it up it's called simply irresistible but your home <laughs> homegirl Sarah Michelle Gallagher is in another TV show. I don't know if you guys heard of it. It's called Buffy. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's a pretty good show. We we just started mm-hmm. it. Oh, you start. Oh, Buff. Oh, okay. Buffy kind of slaps. That's funny. Yeah, Buffy that's a good Buffy slaps. the Vampire Slayer. Slayer. Buffy the Vampire Slayer is a is a pretty good show, guys. Oh man, that is one of the most bisexual shows you could possibly watch. It's a bisexual like the, like show. The original, <laughs> the original, like two thousand two. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, the Sarah Michelle Geller OG oh, show. Oh man, with um. Josh Josh Whedon hel- helming That's the series. Uh, it's it's yeah, got good we'll vibes. Good. I'm not gonna lie. It's a nice like 30 minute late night. Turn it on. Don't mm-hmm. give a shit. It's fun. Good background fodder. Yeah, Need those shows. All right, let's get to uh, worst TV show. I think uh, at least for the people who have watched it, aka me and Brian. I don't know if Brian finished it. For me, uh, I'm pretty sure it's Secret Invasion. Yeah, I sure did finish it. It's not good. <laughs> that <laughs> is some of the worst TV I may have watched in the it's past pretty, decade. Bad. Like, I'm so, I feel bad for you guys. I can't. I can't. I can't <laughs> talk about enough about how bad that show was. I don't know what they thought they were doing. With I could. I could have told you it wasn't going to be worth watching. Yeah. I, I probably did tell you. I had <laughs> such high hopes for that show. Nah, <laughs> I had pretty low hopes, and I still fucking hate it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm good on that one. What was the main <laughs> sin of Secret Invasion? It didn't go it anywhere. It didn't do anything. It, yeah, it was yeah. a boring fucking nothing show. Ha- nothing happened. Oh, so just no. you know, post post end game Marvel, just our main complaint. Just but like even worse, like the start and end are the same thing, and you could just it's like as if nothing happened. Oh, well, that's so frustrating. Yeah. And also the Marvels really emphasize that it meant nothing. <laughs> they don't address that shit at all. And he's in the fucking movie. It don't matter. It's bad. <laughs> hey, I also yeah. want to add to that as an honorable mention. I think Ahsoka was pretty bad. I don't think that yeah. show was very interesting to watch. Ooh. I like it. <laughs> yeah, that was going to be mine just because yeah. it's the one show that I invested time into and then I have not finished it. So that's, for me, Ahsoka is probably the worst show of the year. Mm. But 
it definitely had moments and cool parts. Yeah, see, that's why I couldn't, I couldn't put it on my worst because it's got, honestly, we'll get to it later. My what my if not my favorite moment of the year is in I hate that calling show, it worse so because the actors did so well. Everybody did really well. The actors did a great job. Just I just thought the dialogue was unforgivably unforgivably bad. Like you have you have all the resources <laughs> at Disney at your disposal and you can't make better dialogue. Just I mean, come on, bro. I agree. Yeah. I heard a theory, maybe we talked about it before, but there's a theory that the dialogue and and uh and notably the TV series uh Star Wars shows and the new uh sequels are so bad. But it's only because the universe that Star Wars exists in, everybody talks like that. Dumb. Like in, in, <laughs> all that, in, every, all in every in every movie you see, they all talk <laughs> like just so stupid. Like and that's and, fair. And it's, everything and it's not except a, and for it's, Andor. It's not a problem. Oh, that's true. Yeah, that's true. If you if you delete Andor, it's not a problem of bad writing. <laughs> it's actually consistent writing with the with Wait, the world they created. It is. Wait, was Andor this year? No, that was last year. Okay, thank God. <laughs> I think I watched Andor this year. That might be my top. That was a great show. That yeah, if you watch it this year, that should be because that show is amazing. Yeah, Andor's the best. All right, move on. Let's do best video game of the year. Alex, you go first, and I want to see what you pick. <laughs> you got. We already know you got two top contenders. I got two there. heavy hitters. <laughs> I was thinking about this, actually, past few days leading up to this. It was the only thing that I was considering. Best game for me of the year is easily either Zelda or Baldur's Gate. But end of the day, I think I got to give it to Zelda. I'm not going to lie. Wow. That's crazy. That seems like more of your type of game. Right. I mean, honestly, they're on paper, they're both my type of game. Like <laughs> I love I love them both so much. Like high school, college, I was a huge fan of like Mass Effect, Dragon Age, like choosing, choosing, choosing your kind of story and your character and like crafting it and the cinematic, you know, gameplay experience. That is Boulder's Gate to a T. It's a lot of the same developers, and it's just like the best version of that easily but something something about zelda it like it like hits hits the vein of me that it's still like holding on to like the childhood uh parts Mm -hmm. of my brain you know it's just like it's just so joyful and so easy to get into Mm -hmm. and especially now nowadays like i don't have that much time to game and so when i do game i want to feel like the hour and a half or the 30 minutes that i'm doing are valuable yeah that's what games should be I was about to say, can you have 30 minute sessions in Baldur's Gate? I feel like it takes 30 minutes to prep. Yeah, anything. that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. I I I <laughs> I have done that many times and it just feels like I should have I feel like I should have done something else with my time. I should have like <laughs> right. just closed my eyes. Right. Um because you <laughs> it feels like you're working. You need at least two hours to do anything productive in that game. Yeah. And it's and sense. it's and it's just it's just heavy. It's it makes me kind of anxious. Yeah. There's yeah. a lot of a lot. I mean, it's it's fun, and once you get your ball rolling, you can you can really have a great time. But Zelda, anytime right. I pick it up, especially being handheld, it just it's just a blast. Mm-hmm. Every every it's just instant fun. Man, what you what you said nice. is what every game should be. Like it's it gets to like the inner child and like just kind of takes you away on an adventure. That's what every game, especially a Zelda game, should be. So yeah, hundred percent. Very nice. Very nice. In terms of game, if that's what a game, you know, should be, like that's yeah. that's that's the best one for me right there. I think that should be the highest calling for all games. Cause I feel like RPGs nowadays, like Baldur's Gate, whatever, if you get caught up in like inventory management and farming and all this kind of BS, it's like, man, I'm working. Yeah. Like I work at work. <laughs> I don't need to work when I play the game. Yeah, for sure. Zelda yeah. makes like all the te- most tedious things, it just makes it so easy. And one of the things that I had a big problem with early on in the in the in this particular game was the crafting. It's like it's like Minecraft. You can like or not? Yeah, it's kind of like Minecraft or Fortnite. We can build all these structures and, and these vehicles, and I just hated mm-hmm. doing it for the longest time because it like <laughs> it made you stop playing and like and do a little bit of work, right? And thinking and stuff. And it was it was cool to problem solve, but it was ultimately I never really enjoyed it until I found this like new ability that you can save every time you build something and you can have like a star favorites oh like a template yeah and you can just uh, like okay. quit. if you build something once you and you have those pieces with you you can easily just instantly build it right then and i was like okay <laughs> zelda i'm sorry i ever doubted you <laughs> yeah <laughs> no that's great 
I sadly have to say uh, Zelda is my worst game because that <laughs> boy does not know how to run straight. I can't, I can't handle it. <laughs> what are you? Run, have, ha, trying to, run to get straight? him up that log was the Oscar. bane of my existence. That is it was terrible. It was terrible, and I hated it. He no, walks. No. He's got like eight left feet, bro. I can't That's handle so funny. him. <laughs> Oscar, you, were, you were walking on a, a log that was not cemented to anything. Of, of the, it's, it's just <laughs> physics. That's just and that, that is... It's bad design. Your ass design. would fall okay, in real life, too. The fuck? Can... <laughs> yeah, your ass would be in the water. Oh you get the fuck out of here. Yeah, that's that's the most <laughs> blasphemous take that's ever been on the show. <laughs> worst game of the year? You take that right back. Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom, no, no, worst no, no. game of the year. Get the fuck <laughs> out of here. No. Yeah, I mean, no, no, no. for me, I'd probably have to say my best game of the year right now, I'm, I'm blanking on so much shit. I, this year has felt so long and so short at the same time. It's really fucking me up. I can't stand it. But I have to say Hi-Fi Rush. I think it was another one of those situations oh. where mm. I, of course, this is, I haven't played Baldur's Gate 3 yet. I haven't played Final Fantasy 7 Remake, even though it came out 12 years ago. Um, so I'm just, I got to put that out there. Uh, just that game was one of those games. I was just like in a world where so many things are kind of getting stale. It was something refreshing. It was something different that I was yeah. excited to play and excited to exist in. It was one of the few games that I probably a hundred percented this year that and Sonic frontiers, of course, cause you know, you know me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that, that, that game feels like I haven't played it, but it feels like, and sounds like it's a very you game. Oh, for sure. You know, I like my rhythm games, but yeah, I don't know. It's just a really special game. Artistically. It's beautiful. I think the, the art team really knocked it out the park with that game. And it just feels good to play. Hell yeah. Nice. I will go. My best game, video game of the year is, uh, like some of these other ones, is not a game that actually came out this year, but it's a game I played for the first time this year. Uh, and it is Final Fantasy VII Reaper. Mm-hmm. I Or Remake. <laughs> remake, excuse me. Man, I could not get enough of this fucking game. I love that. That I makes me so, so happy. Hooked. I'm, I'm honestly surprised that you love it so much. Not because it's doesn't deserve it i don't i just uh, didn't expect that from you i mean it's it's a it's a great yeah. game but yeah that's that's what's up as a, as a person that's loved final fantasy for so long and has loved rpgs for so long i just never expected oscar to fall into like either of those pools i'm a man of many tastes <laughs> <laughs> clearly a renaissance man i'm I'm there to give anything a shot you know? i appreciate no. it uh mm-hmm. yeah i fucking i loved it i love the the combat the gameplay i loved it might stem from Kingdom Heartsness. Maybe. As as wild, as ridiculous as the story gets, I fucking love it. <laughs> I love how ridiculous it gets. I love how melodramatic some of the things are. Um, and I just had, yeah, honestly, I, I didn't expect the gameplay to be as fun as it was. Like it's genuinely it's, a good re- it's time really good to yeah. run around and play. Mm-hmm. Obviously, it's not perfect. Side quests are a little meandering and stuff, but overall, like I, I platinum that game. I I think I put into like 140 hours into That's that crazy. game. Like, I've loved that game. It's got some of the best combat. We we got Oscar to finish. I guess yeah. maybe his. I guess it's technically his second anime, but he he finished his second anime ever and his first Final Fantasy ever <laughs> this year. Oh, That's shit. crazy, Bruh, This has been the year of Japan for me. The year of trying new <laughs> things. <laughs> Zombification begins. <laughs> Next time you see me, I'm gonna be fucking running with my arms behind oh, my God. back or some shit. Yeah, yo, be talking about your yo, wife wait, 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 Cleo did that a couple of days ago and I lost my shit. <laughs> oh, you serious? <laughs> <laughs> she, 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 she like got up and like used her arms as momentum to like, to, like get <laughs> off the <laughs> ground and throw herself. For- and I was like, you know what? That fucking works. I was about to say she knew what she was doing. That's she hilarious. Hilarious. That, that, that that makes fucking sense. Uh, <laughs> That's so it cool. all fits now. I got to shout out uh, my number two, Spider Man Two. Um, a phenomenal mm. game, so good. Um, again, like, a, like much like Final Fantasy, I just as soon as I got it, I couldn't put it down. I think I beat the story in like four days, five days, because I was just like, "This is all I'm doing. I need to beat this game." Um, story is great. Twists and turns are cool. Um, Gameplay is fun. Like it's just swinging slash flying with the wings that are in the trailer throughout that city. Just feels so fucking good. And uh, it, which is crazy that they improved it upon that first one because that yeah. first one felt amazing to do. And also, it needs some love because, man, it got swept. <laughs> it did not win shit. <laughs> Any awards? It needs some love. That game is good. Everyone should play that game if you can. Mm-hmm. Very, very good. Well, guys, since you know me, I only play about, you know, Rocket League and FIFA most of the time. Oh. Or I'm sorry. FC. Yo, we know what your number one is. We already know. You, you already know. My, the only new <laughs> game, because, man, y'all make me sad. Like, I, I need to get a Switch or something so I can play some new games because I'm stuck <laughs> with my old Xbox here. So I don't really play a lot of new games. But the number one new game is a game that I've always wanted since I was a young kid. <laughs> it was my main problem with RTS, right? It's like, I want to be in the battle. I don't want to just keep commanding the units. I want to be on the ground <laughs> making change myself. 
Well, I have a game for you. Okay. <laughs> Mountain Blade, Bannerlord 2. <laughs> Mountain Blade 2, Bannerlord? I don't sure. know. But either way, it's a terrible I've been waiting name. on this game my whole life. It was awesome. You can get that feeling of like being at Helm's Deep, you know, like defend, like knocking people off the tower, except it's not orcs, it's other people. But, you know, that's neither here nor there. But like, you can be in a cavalry charge. You can be an infant, a foot soldier and charge on foot. You can be a horse archer and go around people. But the whole time you're commanding your units. So it's a very, very cool game. Definitely not perfect. Probably way better on PC. But I still have so much fun <laughs> playing that it's game. It's funny because, of course, it's obviously on Game Pass, Xbox Game Pass. Yeah. But I actually saw it on sale on Steam uh, a couple days ago. And I thought about you because it's like 20 bucks on sale. And you hammered it, right, Brian? I mean, I got Game Pass. So I can just play it whatever I want. <laughs> so. True. If you ever do get in there, let me know. Like, you know, I, want I think to. you should, I'll, it's on the I'll tell you who to play as. It yeah. sounds pretty fun. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, that, it is so much fun. Yeah. I want to play it just for the culture so I can understand what Devin feels for just one day. Oh, dude. <laughs> yeah. They also explain absolutely nothing to you. So you need to like do a heavy amount of Reddit and YouTubing to figure out what that's you're That's what's going to lose me. 100%. That's what's going to lose me. Is the, the beginning I'm out. curve. I quit. <laughs> it's just like they didn't think to make a tutorial. It's like, because you're like, oh, I want to do this. And like the only tutorial they do is like combat and maybe moving your units around but other but as far as like more complex things you like you're on your own so just go figure it out <laughs> <laughs> very nice all right let's try to rapid fire some of this so worst video game i didn't have one because I, I mean i didn't i didn't play bad games i would say but i will say and i'm just gonna jump on the bandwagon i'm assuming that call of duty modern warfare 3 campaign is as bad as it is so I'm gonna <laughs> Judgment call. I have a worse game. <laughs> Fucking Redfall came out oh. this year. That game was dog shit. Ooh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that game okay. literally didn't work. Redfall. It was one of the oh, Xbox's Redfall. big games. I was supposed to be like, yo, this is putting Xbox on the map, baby. Uh, which also Starfield was pretty mediocre, but I won't say it's the worst game. It was probably the most we'll talk about. Yeah. But yeah, Redfall was a game that literally was supposed to be a looter shooter based on vampires. Uh, it was supposed to be like one of the Xbox's bigger games. It was made by the people. It's made by a separate studio that worked on Deathloop. Um, which is, of course, a, a very, a, that game is beloved. Um, it was made of a different, like, offshoot studio of that studio. So it wasn't made by the exact same people that yep. made Deathloop. That being said, a lot of expectations came out of it. That game fucking sucked. It was literally broken. I have footage of times where my entire AI and the entire <laughs> world broke, and I couldn't shoot anything. That's a, that's a $70 game, by the way. He said, I have visual <laughs> proof. I have visual proof of that shit happening. Also, it ran on 30. Taking them to court. It ran on 30 frames on Xbox, which is despicable in this day and age. That's funny. That's a good one. Yeah. Does anyone have anything else worse? Uh, I, I replayed uh, some of Kakarot, the Dragon Ball Z Kakarot game, after, <laughs> uh, not, after putting it down for a couple of years. Uh, and I did not have a good time. <laughs> <laughs> when I first got it, I was I was gung ho for all of its um innocently bad uh quirks, but now I was just pissed. It was a struggle. There's too many dialogues that are really boring and poorly acted, and there's too many side quests that you don't give any care about. And I just want to get to the big set pieces, but I don't I don't know if it's worth it anymore. I don't know if I'm gonna finish it. Damn, that's upsetting. No. That's funny. I keep That's saying I'm so gonna play it, but I keep waiting for it to go more on sale. That it I, I got it a few years ago on a pretty good sale, but I just don't. I don't know if it's fun. Like even like the minute, like the the best combat <laughs> scenes are are pretty repetitively boring. It's only it's only worth it yeah. to see like the big huge fight scenes when they're like concluding. Even that just go to YouTube. Yeah, so I don't know Absolutely if I'm. Good. I don't know. Devin is the king of going to YouTube. It's to so watch funny. Yeah. Game. Yeah. I, actually, I actually got it because I, came, I love it. I got the bundle that came with some DLC. It's the only DLC that I have installed on any game ever. And I don't know if I'm going to get to it. I wanted to, it's like it, you, you play, <laughs> you play in, in the alternate timeline where, where with trunks when Gohan is training him and stuff and, the, and you're defeating the androids. Mm. I was like, I got to get through the main game and then I can do trunks timeline, but I don't, I don't know if I'm going to make it guys. Yeah. I, I don't think <laughs> it's for me. That's Especially fun. now that I'm playing Zelda and Baldur's <laughs> yeah. Gate, when you have actual yeah better yeah. games, I was right. I was waiting for these I was waiting for these to drop or me to be able to justify affording it, and I was trying to play Kakarot and having a terrible time. So yeah, I don't think I can go. Not back. worth it. That's tough. That's tough. Devin, did you have nothing or no? Uh, I move guess on? I could say FC twenty four just because I downloaded that. I've only played one game of it so far, but. <laughs> I damn, I literally went wow. back to FIFA twenty three because I was like, yes, wow. Yeah. That is that is honestly I'll, scathing I'll, I'll for me. I'll play you. it more, but like, <laughs> oh, they added they added like a like a range finder for crosses. 
I hate it. Like, I think I can probably turn it off, but like, that's why I just, I just quit the game when I saw that. Cause it's like, <laughs> it's like, you see the trajectory of the ball and where it's going to land when you're, when you're lining up across and it's just not, you just got to eyeball it, bro. You just got to know the ball. Interesting. You just got to know. You got to know the computer generated yeah, ball. You gotta, you just I, feel you. I feel you. <laughs> All right. Let's rattle off some. These are some more like fun ones for me. Biggest surprise. This is where I'm putting blue beat little. Cause I went into that movie thinking it was going to be some spy kids, B movie, terrible, terribleness. And I ended up being a fucking really good movie that I thoroughly enjoyed and quite liked a lot. I'd say biggest surprise for me is Barbie. I wasn't expecting that movie to, for one, do fucking as well as it did. That movie did amazing. Oh. That's a billion dollar movie. That's a, that's up there with the Marvel yep. movies. That's crazy for Barbie. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mine's, mine's probably The Last of Us. I didn't I didn't expect it to be as good as it was. That's for, it was really solid. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Gosh, for me, biggest surprise, maybe Foundation. Just didn't. There was definitely some things I didn't see coming watching that show, but. Very pleasantly surprised. Yeah. Biggest disappointment. I got a couple. I would say The Flash, as as much as I liked it, it was a disappointment. It was a culmination of 10 years of a universe that they broke indefinitely, and it should have been much better than what it was. Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny. I saw that. I was honestly, yeah. I I really, with James Mangold, who did Logan and 310 to Yuma, two movies that I love, directing, I genuinely thought this was going to be the big, climactic final chapter for Indiana Jones and it was going to go out with a banger and it did not and it was it was quite disappointing I'm bummed and then uh, Fast X because I, I hoped it was going to be better than 9 and it wasn't <laughs> hold on, I think it's hold better on, than 9 on. I think 9 was fucking atrocious. I think no okay look no alright it is better than 9 I kind of hoped it would go back to like Fast 5 uh, you or when they were good you know what you're getting not from, still fa- be bad. from the Fast franchise don't be disappointed when you show up and you get the movie that you see <laughs> no because I still okay. think Fast 5 is actually good oh, okay. now it's just dumb it, it's been, even dumber they somehow made it Fast dumber Fast franchise is what it is like if you're expecting anything else like you're, you're, you're thinking too much I found that movie very entertaining <laughs> just no, enjoy movie. the cars <laughs> enjoy the cars flying and sometimes with cannons. bro half the time they're not even cars now it's just like tanks and it's yeah. like mad max now <laughs> enjoy that oscar okay enjoy the cars so getting harpooned by I a can't helicopter and then smashing I the helicopter together john cena super for? mario brother mario kart bounced to what, are, I, I'm I, sorry, I can't are you here for the fast movies it's for more dumb. grounded things <laughs> you want you want to see more grounded Car yes, I want them to go back to stealing DVD players. I want them to go back to stealing Man. DVD players. <laughs> oh, it's gosh. too stupid now. I can't. Jason Momoa was very good in that movie. Uh, I'll give it that. All right. He was weird in that movie. He, he was unsettling. Oh, Jason Momoa was great. I, I, need, I need to get into Dang. this series. Oh, I, I stopped after one. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> you ain't seen nothing. No, no, I haven't. I haven't. Right? Good Lord. I've been too scared now, but... I mean, it could be a fun adventure. It's one of the best superhero series. I mean, 10 movies is a lot. They're so great, though. Dang. How did that not make it into the movie? Uh, (laughs) (laughs) I'm going to rattle off most uh, most forgettable for me. You know, Uh, I had something for this one, but I forgot. forgot. (laughs) 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 Shut up. (laughs) Oh, I wanted to circle back to what the most disappointing real quick, because I didn't get to say anything. Starfield. Oh, yeah. Starfield sucked. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. That's our fault for having too much. I think that's a bummer. For hey, I got yes, something 100%. for disappointing. Just Marvel, Marvel and Disney, just Dis- Dis- Disney <laughs> in general. They <laughs> Disney has been very disappointing on uh, multiple Disney, fronts. This year. Yes, uh, many fronts. They've been disappointing, <laughs> but you have so many resources. Mm. You can make. You have proven that you can make quality. I think for Marvel, it's just the the issue is the Empire got you know this is like the fall of the Empire. It's just you know you hit a peak and you can't keep going up. <laughs> Star Wars, there's no excuse. You, you got to clean it up. And do some better stuff. <laughs> clean up your shit, guys. Yeah. We've seen what it can be. Star Wars, do better. Be better. Be better. Simple. Speaking of Star Wars, this for me is forgettable. I mostly, not even that it's bad, just because I forgot. Uh, Star Wars Vision Season 2, Volume 2 came out this year. Damn. And I totally forgot. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot that existed. We sure did cover that. It was good. Um, Flash, slightly forgettable. I'll still put that in this category. And then, uh, I'm sorry, Devin, I'm putting this Dungeons and Dragons movie yeah. that we watched uh, in That's fair, though. I saw That's that fair. movie. It came and went. It came and went. Yeah, it did. It was decent. It was, yeah, it was decent. Yeah. I just have to quickly shout out best moment for me. It's absolutely seeing Anakin and Ahsoka. Mm. A thousand percent. As much wow. as uh, Devin said he would, he would regret having paid to see that in theaters. I wish I would have paid to see that in theaters. I love that episode. He didn't It was my favorite. say that was anything. My, that was my best moment. I loved it. His dialogue. Oh, I don't care. He swung oh, a lightsaber shit. around for twenty Put minutes. That's all I needed. Together, I don't. The man was talking in freaking code. Like, what are you talking about? 
<laughs> you're not wrong. Nothing he said not makes sense. I wrong. was really disappointed. Interesting. Uh, the best moment for me would have to be Larian Studios finally getting their flowers with Boulder Gate 3, uh, Boulder's mm, Gate 3. Yeah. I think that they've been a studio that's been deserving for a while. So to see them, it's giving like the Elden Ring syndrome where, you know, From Software has always been a good studio, but they've been a studio that definitely fits a niche. Mm-hmm. Um, so to see them break that right. niche with Elden Ring, seeing Larian Studios do the same thing where it's like you made a game that everybody loves, despite it being a crunchy ass RPG because that game is crunchy. I know it is. I just think that's great. I'm, I'm happy for them. Yeah. yeah, very cool. Best song for me, anything in Attack on Titan. I still listen to that soundtrack to this day. Every song anything is a bop. Me. Every single one is a banger. How are. do you make an album bangers, of full bro. bangers? I don't understand it, but I love it. <laughs> I, I listen to that shit to work. That should get me hype. All right. Uh, this one we can all kind of do very quickly. Most anticipated. I can quickly go first because it's obvious. It's absolutely Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Ooh. I cannot wait <laughs> for February. I cannot wait till Leap Day. I need it now. I need Ooh. it in my veins. That's mine. I think I'm more excited for for Dune right now. Yeah, me too. There's probably things that I'm forgetting, Ooh. but I I'm honestly I'm good on video games for a couple years. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna be <laughs> chilling true. for a minute. I think I think so as well. Yeah, Dune. How far anticipated does it have to be? Because it's not 2024 that's coming out. It might never come out. Yeah, whenever. Who cares? A Mass Effect it trailer came out, out, brother. Mass Effect trailer. <laughs> I'm anticipating that shit. I don't know what it's gonna be if it oh. never exist. I want it. Wait, what trailer? I want. I thought, it. Is it just a poster? <laughs> Yeah, it was, it was a teaser. Yeah. It was a teaser. Yeah. Like a boot. It wasn't it wasn't even a, a, a poster. It was a straight teaser, but it doesn't show anything. This is a game that might not come out for nine shit. years. <laughs> was there somebody they walking or is it just like no. atmosphere? I can't remember. It's someone like walking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. In, a, in a suit, yeah. but it's like an N7 trench coat. It's interesting. Yeah. That game makes just trying to remind us that they're alive and they could make one if we push them hard enough. <laughs> that is literally what they're doing hey, right now. To remind them that they exist so that investors can give them some money because they don't have <laughs> 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 that's good that's good all right devin send us home what you got oh i'd say dune dune part two should be should be really epic if they do it right but at this point the expectation is gonna be too high so let's just assume it'll suck and then we'll be <laughs> yeah. happier oh, no. so we're setting up for hopefully a great movie that might suck let's just we're, we're gonna assume it's gonna suck so we can hopefully enjoy it exactly set the bar low <laughs> and we won't be disappointed uh anime style rebirth of a video game that's gonna suck but we're gonna love it mm-hmm. it's probably not gonna suck it's probably gonna be good i'm not gonna lie no it's gonna be pretty great i think there's no there's no there's no under hyping it it's gonna be pretty good yeah. and and we and we got hopefully an announcement of a video game maybe <laughs> someday it could it could be a someday. great year guys 20, 20, 2024 sky's the limit yeah and all right that's it <laughs> um so there we go. Looking forward to next year, listeners. Brian, say goodbye now because you're not going to be around for this last segment. We'll see you next year. Goodbye now. See you. See you next year. Potentially anticipated <laughs> that I might be here next year. <laughs> we're not sure. I'll give you a teaser that I might exist next year. <laughs> <laughs> Brian, we're not going to see Brian until 2028. Shit. <laughs> Coming soon. Uh, yes, that is our th- the, our awards. Uh, all the winners will you'll get your cool uh, statue in the mail in uh, two to six weeks. Yeah, there you go. 2033. What a banger of a year. A lot of shit that I honestly forgot came out. This year was packed, bro. It was packed. Yeah. Um, looking forward to 2024 and our predictions when we get to those uh, in the very few future of, of next year. Um, that is it. Guys, shall we now move into our final segment of the week? I do it. Which we like to call Free For All Title Pending. This is a segment listeners. We can kind of do whatever we want. Talk about our day. Talk about our life. Uh, rant fight nap it is free for all um i can very quickly go first hit us i played a little game called god of war ragnarok once oh again my god because <laughs> they came out with their valhalla dlc that was free oh, okay. uh, i'm not gonna lie that shit is fucking dope oh my god i fucking I thought that was gonna it. be the third game I didn't know that was DLC. No, it was free DLC, <clears throat> and uh, I it's a it's a it's a roguelite. So it's one of those games where you die, you learn, you play, you die, blah 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 blah. Hmm. And I I've never really been super into that genre, at least like never actually played much of it. It's just not an interest that I had really. And so I was interested to see how this one would go, and I was very interested in this one compared to the Last of Us Part Two ones that's coming out next month, because this one looked very more story focused, and I uh, it is. 
this is very much an epilogue to God of War Ragnarok. There is story to this game mode, and I'm so surprised that they gave the shit out for free. Wow. And how quickly they did it. And I loved it. I love the story of this. I love the gameplay. I already love the gameplay of Ragnarok, so I, I was eager to get back into it. And it was cool. I, it wasn't super difficult to beat. I think, honestly, I, I think I died one time where, like, I didn't, I couldn't, I could have, if I had survived, I could have continued the story. So I think I only died one time. So it's not super difficult. Obviously, you can up the difficulty. But uh, it's very cool. It's, it's without any spoilers, it's basically Kratos going to therapy. Uh, mm. And it's kind of super interesting how they do it. Um, they address a lot of his past. They address a lot of stuff. You've, if you've seen the trailer for it, you clearly see the signs that they are clearly homaging and talking about the, the OG God of War games, the Greek stuff. That's cool. So it was, I was, that's what really intrigued me uh, to start getting into it. And uh, I've, I, yeah, I, I really loved it. I am excited for more of if they do, because they say the story doesn't end with this, so they will continue to do more. Um, I don't know what that means, but uh, yeah, I loved it. So for the last time this year, I will continue the trope of saying uh, <laughs> shout out to God of War Ragnarok. This is why I say it every week. Guys, it's the best. It's a fucking great game. Oh, it's a great man. game. <laughs> That's, cool, That's cool, man. Yeah, Kratos definitely needed some therapy, so it's good that they <laughs> maybe did that. It's cool. They 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 actually honestly like go out of their way to kind of add some layers to his character from those games. He didn't have a lot of layers cool. in those days. <laughs> but yeah, that's great. I'm sure you were doing it, but just bashing somebody's head into a rock the whole time. Like, ah, this is helping. Yeah, that's like, great. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. I love therapy. Well, I can go real quickly. Um, other than seeing Alex in person recently, which was, yeah. which was really cool. We were hanging out. Maybe I'll just talk about that, I guess, this time. So little trip to New York City. Got to see some really cool stuff in the Met. Okay, guys? Some suits of armor. That's, I, the, like, the signs in there, it's like, art, 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 armor, armor, armor. <laughs> I'm like, well, I'm going there first. <laughs> Saw some, uh, some pretty impressive pieces. They had, some, they had a lot of stuff. They had some more stuff than I saw even in, like, Rome and some places in Italy. So oh, that wow. That's, that's really interesting. I also was very intrigued by, like, the Islamic <laughs> section, like, like the Ottoman Empire and that kind of stuff, because not a lot of museums up into had that kind of stuff. Yeah, that makes but, Like, Euro- European art, that's, like, everywhere. Yeah. But, yeah, very cool. Nice. And then Alex and I played soccer on one of the most epic fields I've ever played on. It was beautiful, yeah. <laughs> right under the, <laughs> Bridge under the Brooklyn Bridge. Nice view of the city. Yeah. Right by the water. Got to feel all the cold air as it, as it blew across our face. That was fun. Might be the most epic field. I don't know. I think so. It, definitely for me. It's up there. And then, I mean, Alex, after not playing soccer for about maybe 10 years, did pretty good. Yeah, it was, it was, a, it was a rough day, but it was a lot of fun. <laughs> I guess the recovery hurt most, which kind of, I guess, you know, nerd related is uh, maybe, maybe this was going to be yours, Alex, but um we, that night, we started together in the same place. We started everything everywhere all at once. And I say started because we didn't finish it. Because we, <laughs> we didn't make it. That is, you guys make me so sad. <laughs> well, it, it, and it's a great movie. Like, I was definitely in. But, like, it, we started at, like, 1030 and after about an hour. Yeah, once, once uh, 1130, 12 o'clock rolled around. Yeah. It was done. It was I, I kind of, like, I, I did one of those, like, movie naps where I, like, passed out for about 10 minutes. And then I was kind of wired when I woke up. Oh, yeah. By that point, it was too late. I had missed some of the plot. I came into, like, a kung fu fight. I didn't know what was going on. <laughs> <laughs> I missed a very essential part. Yeah. But it was great getting up there to see um, Alex and the fam in person. You got to meet Cleo. Right. I did. I did. She's very suspicious of me. I think yeah. I got a high five, though. I got you a couple, got, you high, did, fives you got a couple high fives. You're just very tall. Yeah. Nice. Not a lot, not a lot of tall people <laughs> in the community. I think the beard doesn't really help giant. also. But, but yeah, n- like, in fairness to her, all, all infants are usually very suspicious of me. Yeah. Great, great visit up to New York City. Yeah, we had a great time hanging. Can't wait for the next one. Mm-hmm. I can't believe y'all didn't, you didn't finish that movie. Uh, I'll, fo- I'll follow up. Uh, unlike, unlike Devin, we, we went back and finished uh, everything everywhere all at once. <laughs> I, I agree with him. I wish we could have had the time and the energy to, uh, to, to power through. But, um, but alas, it was a phenomenal movie. I think it starts off with such a bang. Like it just it just kind of like catapults you off the deep end with all these characters and all the, mm-hmm. their desires and just gets crazier and crazier. And it felt like you didn't really have time to catch up and you just have to keep on going. Um, so it was very exciting. But it was re- I'm not gonna lie, it was really weird uh, having having that break because <laughs> we we 
stopped. We stopped <laughs> about halfway through, which ended up ended up being the first like act break point. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And the second act is just w- even weirder. Uh, Devin, spoiler alert! <laughs> That's crazy. It, it, yeah, when whenever you watch it again, just hundred percent, just start from the beginning of the film. You know. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to watch it with. With Meredith, so we'll yeah, probably makes... start from the beginning. But it was it was just kind. Of, I mean, that's a that's a very particularly weird uh, and bizarre and just like fun vibey movie. And just kind of mm-hmm. jumping into mm-hmm. the second act, it it just took a little bit to get our bearings <laughs> <laughs> versus uh gra- like somewhat gradually getting there. Even though it starts off already on like the peak of the roller coaster but it was a it was a great movie i loved the performances i loved the style i didn't expect it to be so fucking funny i was cracking up majority of the oh, time dude i didn't really know it what to so expect funny. i didn't know what to expect i just heard that it was really good and kind of out there but i had such a great time mm-hmm. that's awesome i'm glad you finally watched it Devin. i'm looking forward to you finally finishing it i cannot uh, wait to finish it it is a great movie just gotta find the time yeah yeah because i don't it's not super long. It's like maybe two hours, a little over two hours, maybe. Yeah, yeah. it was like two hours and too, too 20 minutes. Oh, okay. J- right. Just long enough to be long. Yeah. <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. That's awesome. I'm glad you guys got to spend some time. I know it was pretty, pretty damn cold up there. Mm-hmm. Devin, that's like your weather. So you fit right in. It's true. I, I, I wasn't <laughs> unhappy to come home to the warmth, but it was, you know, a little bit, a little bit of cold soccer on the, on the river. Pretty good. Pretty good. Very nice. All righty, everyone. That is our final show for the year, Woo! listeners. We will we'll see y'all in like a month uh, when we'll be back in January to talk about some 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 fun stuff. There's a lot of stuff coming up, so look forward to that. For now, you can email us at thefortresslab at gmail.com. Fortress spelled F-O-U-R. Computer emails, any feedback, questions, recommendations, or anything like that. Follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and the YouTube channel at the Fortress of. Tell your friends, tell your family, tell your grandma, tell your cat. Follow the three Bollywood R's. Rate, review, and recommend us to anyone and everyone you know. Thank you, Jackie, for helping with the podcast every week. Thank you, Brian, for the art. Alex, with your music. And Devin, thank you for being here, even when you're not here. You can find Brian on Instagram at ITZ underscore, by the way. Alex Peterson Films. And Devin, you can find him. Everywhere. I don't know. <laughs> Everywhere. Everywhere. All at... There you go. On a, no, he, 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 he's not all at once. He's only everything <laughs> right now. He's, not, he's, he's only halfway. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Um, as usual... Happy holidays, everyone. And uh, put a coat on. It's cold out there. It is cold up there. It is. And we'll see you here next year in another episode in the Fortress of... <laughs>